Hi and welcome to part two of building your own CNC router control box. To recap of part one real quick, you should have cut all the ends off your wires coming out of your power supply, paired up your yellows and blacks on your terminal strip, your reds and blacks on your terminal strip, and take your green, which is your switch, and pair that with a black. And hopefully you tested your power supply. And to do that, is you take your green wire, which is your power on, and you twist it with one of the grounds, one of your black wires. After doing so, you plug in your ATX power supply, make sure all your other wires are separated, tape off the ones you're not using, and then test between ground and yellow to make sure you have 12 volts, and your reds to ground to make sure you have 5 volts. All right, now on to part two. In part two, you're going to need two power supplies, your ATX power supply installed, and wires laying on a terminal strip. You're going to need a single pole on off switch, and you're going to need another terminal strip for your 120 volt power, which we'll draw that in right now. My power strip has eight terminals on it. And that's going to be for your 120 volt distribution. To purchase the components of this build, if you go to my Facebook page, linked in the description below, you will find all the products that I've purchased for this build, the suppliers, this is all on eBay, and links to the actual components. Please go and like my page, so that way if you have any questions, I can help you out as much as possible. But please remember, this is my first build. I've never built one of these before. I do not totally understand everything about it. So you're doing this at your own risk. I found all the information I needed from diagrams, reading materials, and whatnot. It took me a lot of research to put this build together. The extra components of the relays is my add-in because I needed the 12 volt relay, which I haven't drawn in yet, I guess to activate all my power supply coming off the ATX power supply. All right, to start step two, we're gonna start with the easiest component, which is our power switch. So what you need to do is take your green wire off your terminal strip, which is your power on, and run that directly to one side of your switch. For the next part, you're going to take your ground wire, which is paired, whatever one you paired up, and you're going to run that to the switch. That's step one. That's going to power up your ATX power supply when you turn that switch on. Next, what I like to do is, here's what we're going to do here, because I need to explain how I did this. This red line right here represents, well I guess I use the purple side, represents your case. And that doesn't seem to be marking very well. So what you have here, in the back of your ATX power supply, there's a plug-in. Which you have your six foot whip that you generally plug in to a computer. You're going to take that whip and you're going to cut the plug-in part off it, the male part that plugs into your actual outlet. And then you're going to take that wire, you're going to drill a hole in your case, and you're going to run that cable, which has three conductors in it, and you're going to run that in over here. Which is going to be, I'm not sure yet where we're going to put it, but probably here for drawing purposes. Then you're going to take another one of those cables if you have it, or make your own, or an old extension cord, and cut off about 8-10 feet. Use the male end, which will represent that down here. That's your three prong plug. And you're going to run that up through a hole in your case, and over here. And what I did in these holes when I drilled this, is I put rubber grommets. That helps protect the wire. You probably could purchase some rubber grommets first, 
find ones that'll fit your cord, drill the hole according to the size of your grommet, put your grommet in, and then pull your wire in. Now you're going to use a 12 volt relay. And what that means is, this is going to be your relay. It's going to have a 12 volt coil, and it's going to have a bunch of screw terminals on each side. The one I purchased looks something like this with the terminals. Then at, on the fourth position here, that's where you would put a screw and that's where you'd put a screw to mount it. And on this relay, two of the screw terminals are going to be your coil and that should be represented something similar to that or it'll say coil or 12 volt coil. Then between certain points, you're going to have contacts. You're going to have normally open, which is re represented something similar to that, and you're going to have normally closed contacts, which is represented something similar to that. And usually on the plug-in part on these coils, they'll have a diagram. I don't have the part that it plugs into with the terminal screws, but I have the coil with the relays in my hand. And on that, as you can see, there will be a diagram and that'll explain what contact points are your coil, your normally open contacts, and your normally closed contacts. For this drawing though, I'm not going to use numbers, you're going to have to read it yourself Without my magnifiers, I cannot read this diagram, and it's so small and it's in white on a clear plastic, I won't even be able to show you it in the video. I will try to attempt to take some pictures of it and post it on my Facebook page. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. Because your next step is, you need to take these two cables, which have three wires in each one for your power, and they've got to hook directly to your 12 volt relay and I'll explain that now. So on your relay, you're going to have a series of contact points. So I'm going to represent the first one as my coil, 12 volt. And then we're going to have our normally open and normally closed contacts. And we're going to start with our normally open. So you're going to have a normally open pair here. And I'm just going to start with one set of normally open contacts because uh, I'm just going to draw in as we need them. 